Hey Virgo, I'm back. Welcome back you guys. It's Kelly from House of Virgo and we're going to get into your love reading. So welcome to all the new subscribers. I see we had like a ton of new subscribers. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everybody in the chat. Um, I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving, great holiday weekend. Um, I know I did. Um, but I am back. Let's see what the messages are for you Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And uh, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. So do check that out. All right, you guys. Um, so healing heart, healing from a heartbreak, freedom from a toxic relationship or an addiction. All right, Virgo. So, you know, I just, you are, you're in a healing, you're still healing. Some of you are still grieving. Some of you are in the process of sewing back up your heart. Um, you might have been in a toxic relationship or maybe in some type of an addiction, but it feels like freedom is here. Um, from now until the end of December. So there's this. I'm so I'm just kind of getting there might be some times when some days are good, some days not so good for some of you, but I really feel like when I look at this card and I see this girl sewing, well, where's my camera? Oh my goodness. I see this girl sewing it all up there. It's a girl or guy, whichever. This kind of feels to me like really putting in the effort to heal a heart, to heal a heartbreak or whatever kind of, it's a putting back together is really what I feel it's a putting back together kind of situation getting yourself work in progress they just said your work in progress right now and you know if some days you're feeling sad and you're like wow you don't know why you're feeling sad um because maybe the past few days or the week before you were feeling great this is the journey this is what i feel like is happening here with you as you're healing um, the ups and downs until you your head and your heart come into complete alignment and acceptance okay um, some of you are just going through a grieving process one day you're happy the next day you're angry another day you feel like you're accepting it and then you're bouncing back into crying tears or you are trying to bargain with the universe you're asking questions and so you're kind of like all over the map some of you or someone here is and it's not just you virgo it's somebody else as well there's a healing that's taking place so there may not be any communication between two people you might be feeling abandoned or feeling like somebody walked away why didn't somebody come after you and try to want to fix it? Well, it feels like you're both healing your own hearts. Neither one of you can fix the other's heart because you each broke each other's heart. Okay. Now that's just a small message for some. Um, for others, you were the victim of having your heart broken. And then for another percentage of you, you were the heartbreaker. Okay, let's see what else is going on here, Virgo. I feel like this is going to be a long... Okay, mask. Yeah, not showing true feelings, hiding, pretending. So, gone into hiding, gone into hermit mode. Two people here, not talking, wearing a mask. Either not talking to each other, not revealing to other people that you're hurt or that you're healing. Um, not wanting to possibly date others and like I said this could be both or the roles could be reversed somebody not wanting to date other people putting on a front putting on a show not showing that they're hurting um, and hiding there's a hiding energy here the axe there's a breakup 
there was a breakup, separation. This is a stopping the pattern. There is silence between two people. There's abandonment. This is tough. Oh my gosh, Virgo. This is tough. This is, this is going to be a tough read. I feel like this can be a tough read. Um, something ended, definitely. Or that axe, <laughs> some of you are trying to sew up and the wound has not been cleansed, you know, and then it keeps reopening or there's this re-traumatizing of self, okay? Um, somebody might be hiding behind something and peeking to see and getting re-traumatized and constantly like doing this on purpose to feel the pain because somebody feels numb. It's somebody feels numb and it's almost as if they need to relive this traumatic event in order to feel alive. I don't know where that is coming from, what that energy is coming up here, but because somebody is very numb. Somebody might be hurting themselves in order to feel again. Yeah, this is tough. This is really a tough, tough reading at this time. And I, they just told me, okay, never mind. I'm skipping that. All right, they just gave me the name Jim. Uh, that's all I can say. They gave me the name Jim. So let me see what's going on here. Um, this is like, they're telling me this was a necessary thing. This needed to happen because there was a cycle. This thing kept going on. This pattern kept repeating and it never went anywhere. It was spinning the wheels in the mud and Either universe came down and gave this relationship the ax between both of you, or one person did it and the other just conceded. And now there's this healing process that's very difficult. So, you know, Virgo, if you're going through this right now, I feel you. I feel you. Somebody, you know, wearing that mask, even gaslighting themselves and saying, no, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Needing to put on this front, but they're not really fine. They're really hurt. Um, because it was time or somebody knew that this needed to stop this old pattern, toxic relationship or toxic energy behaviors. Okay, let me see. And also somebody ended a relationship because one or both people did not show their true feelings and were pretending or they were wearing this mask. They were hiding. Okay, spirit, what else does Virgo need to know here? What is going on? Oh, wow. Seven of Wands. There's this desire to maintain control and uh, be very territorial and self-protective right now. Absolutely. Defensive energy. We have Leo showing up here. Okay. Yep. Somebody's in isolation. Absolutely backed into a corner, hands tied. There's a victimization uh, mentality going on here. Somebody is paralyzed by fear, terror, not letting another person know, feeling hopeless and helpless and powerless. There's silence. Someone was silenced or has been silenced. Someone's in crisis right now because of this, this feels like a withdrawal. This feels like a withdrawal from something heavy duty. And it's, it's up and down, um, back and forth, high and low emotions, holding ground, 
holding ground, but man, is it challenging. Really challenging Gemini energy there. Very difficult. Look at all this. It's unbelievable. Carrying such a heavy burden. Whew. Feeling overburdened. Stressed. Again, restricted, burned out. Climbing up a hill with blocks and bricks and blocks and thousands of bounds trying to get up this hill. Someone feels taken for granted. Weight on their shoulders. Sagittarius energy here. This is really, this. I said to myself, what kind of reading? But I could feel the energy of this reading before I even sat down to begin this. And you know, I don't, these aren't pre-scripted. The energy that comes to me, that's what comes to me. And what I feel like is happening here is, um, I don't know if there's like a speedness. Somebody wants to heal really quick. Is trying really hard to sew up this heart, this broken heart. Just wants to get it done. I just saw the Six of Swords get out. That's what I was saying. Necessary transition here. Aquarius energy. So it's like if you look at these cards, and hopefully you can see the colors, we have a warm and then a bluish gray, and then a warm and then a bluish gray. So I kind of feel like, you know, some days there's you know, feeling good, then the next day feeling bad, then the next day feeling good, the next day feeling bad. There's an up and down roller coastery energy to some type of um, ending, heartbreak, and a necessary transition. And that's what I was saying. This situation, this relationship, this connection had run its course. Two people might have just been holding on because of a fear of letting go or the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know okay I don't know if universe came down and just ended it or or you or another person but it was meant to be and for some of you it may not make sense right now and you may not be wanting to sit there and feel the brokenness in your heart. So you want to just try to sew it up as quickly as you can because it's too painful, ripped out and ripped apart like that. But you know what, Virgo? I got to tell you something here about this reading that they're just telling me. Calmer waters are ahead. This is the calm after a storm here. This situation, this, this whatever this relationship was, there needed to be a separation in order to regain self, to regain stability, to have healing. The healing could not happen while in the relationship because the wounds were constantly being torn open. Some of you were still ripping the band-aid off an unhealed wound and just checking still to see if you're healed yet. Some of you are going and you're looking and you're checking stuff and you're sneaking around and you're trying to find out if, or that other person, one of you, or both of you trying to find out find out if there's been a moving on, if someone's forgotten about the other person, if this was all for nothing, if there's somebody else. Retraumatizing, retraumatizing, retraumatizing. I feel like universe put a stop to this because you could not do it. You didn't want to. You wanted to keep holding on. Because you had that hope, you were hopeful things would change, the other person would change, you would change. You were hopeful there would be a rescue. And even still, that universe has interceded. It's still tough letting go, but that's right where you're supposed to be. That's the grieving, that's part of the grieving process. Some of you just, 
there might not even be closure and you're trying to give yourself closure for example some of you might be trying to see beyond the mask try to understand why and who but I don't feel like that is really going to give you closure I feel like the closure comes when you just accept that this is what it is right now. Whatever that is, it doesn't matter. This is what it is here, right now. That's when the healing begins. Acceptance has to settle in. Okay? So I, I feel like I'm not calling anyone out here. You know, this feels like an overall message. And like I was saying before I started this reading, the first... I don't know how to explain to you that how I get my messages. Um, they come in the form of like an encapsulated knowledge ball. It's like they show up and, and the message is almost I can't I don't know. One day I'll be able to articulate it. it it's, it's, it's not like an image. It's an entity. One day I'll begin to try to explain how I get this message, but before I started, all I could feel within my, like within my soul, the message was, tell Virgo that Virgo is exactly where Virgo is supposed to be right at this moment in this grieving process. And be kind to yourself. And be patient with yourself. Be angry one day if you need to be angry. Sit, Virgo, with the feelings just sit with them and and just say okay here I am right now today it's Monday it's two Monday I'm sad yes the day before Sunday I was happy Saturday I was angry sit with the emotion pay attention to it it's your friend your that emotion is going to help you heal you don't have to zip it all up as fast as you can and shove it under the bed push it away you don't want to do that because it's going to haunt you sit with the emotion they're your friends and that's what the six of swords is this is um from being in a position of <laughs> sorry guys i moved my camera so i'm a, <laughs> a little confused where it's at so this is basically if you see how the wand there the well the sword i should well it's not a sword it's actually one wand stirring up creation look at the water the water is very tumultuous but out in front of it it's very calm you're on your way you're on your way to a much calmer peaceful place of acceptance but you have to take this trip for some of you this is an actual trip you have to take go on this trip you have to relocate. Some of you have things that you have. It's too much of a burden for you to stay where you are because you feel isolated. Trying to deal with something on your own. You need to get with others. And another person here is, listen, Virgo, there's a mirroring going on. You and this other person. I don't feel like you and whoever this person is um had a desire to have a split i feel like it just came to the end of the road and there was a decision to be made and i feel like it got made for both of you you guys have been in apprentice mode the whole time you were together and I really feel like there's going to be an opportunity here to start over. Huge, huge lessons have been learned from this connection here. This romantic relationship, this partnership, this friendship, this civil union, this marriage huge huge lessons for some of you there is a child involved or children 
coming away from this crazy energy and getting into a calmer, accepting place is going to put you both on track to commitment, to working together, to doing what's best for the child or the children. Um, Capricorn, and we have the King of Swords. Okay. Some of you, there is a male with a child and a home situation where there's a child going to live with the male. There's a reunion, possibly a marriage. And for some of you, you may witness this. And I feel like um, Virgo, don't go looking for trouble, okay? Because when you start looking, you will always find something. Choose your battles. That is what the Nine of Wands is. It's about choosing your battles. Which one is going to be worthy? Some of you are going to have this energy happen where... Um, you're not going to be able to avoid it. And you're already broke, busted, and disgusted at this point, And you're going to have to gather your strength, okay? Especially around the holidays. For others, um, another person is going to watch you go with someone else. And they're going to be having a difficult time with that as well. Now, apart from those two messages, I also feel there is some type of communication coming in around the holiday time from someone who is tremendously hesitant to reach back out to you because they're a wounded soldier or wounded warrior just as much as you are. I do feel like there is communication coming around the holidays, but someone is kind of, it feels like um, this person, now this, is this somebody new? It could be. But I feel like this, so if it's somebody new here, I do feel like they sense that you're cold because well, they're not sure. I feel like they'll, they pick up an energy of de defensiveness or coldness coming from you. Um, they've been hurt too. And I feel like they're just not going to push, but they will move forward. They're just not going to push you. Huh. For some of you, there is somebody in here showing up who wants a commitment. So are you ready for that though, Virgo? I'm not sure. Some of you are still healing, but you know, I do feel also, I don't see any clocks here. So I'm not so sure that you guys are sitting in a position of, well, it's not time yet keep checking your watch. Nope, not time yet. Not done healing. Nope. Leave it in the oven a little bit longer. I don't feel because the one thing that cures pain is love. Pain and more pain and more pain does not cure pain. Love cures pain. Yeah, you're going to have some kind of aha light bulb moment, Virgo, during the holiday season. Look at the wreath. Wait, where are we at? See the wreath? 
Yeah, a light bulb moment. Sometime around Christmas, I do feel like you're going to feel like you've achieved, you know, you see, you got like 30 days <laughs> for going to get your shit together. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you've got like a month here. Get it all out, Virgo. Cry if you have to cry. Punch something if you have to punch. Go hard at the gym. I don't care. Write, draw, throw paint against your wall. I, they just keep giving me 30 days. I don't know if somebody's doing something, a 30-day kind of thing, a challenge to challenge yourself with something. Whatever that is, that 30-day thing, from now until the end of December is going to be the the push that you need to get you past where you are right now as you're listening to this reading. Yeah, this is something I feel like you're doing on your own in quiet, shh, in silence. It's part of a soul-searching, spiritual... Um, endeavor it's uh asking yourself what am i really made of and testing yourself through something here it's almost a test or a check to see if you're as broken down as you think you are because i don't think you are as broken down as you think you are i think it feels a lot worse than it really is Okay, I'm forgetting signs here. Taurus, another Virgo, Gemini, Le Leo, Libra, Aries. That's interesting. You have a lot more warm cards here. So, oh, they just gave me that. Remember that little game? when you had to find something and you close your eyes and someone would say you're getting warmer you're getting warmer nope cold turn back around okay warm that's i feel like things are you're getting closer here to where you need to be with what you're going through at this time yeah definitely for some of you the person that you split up with or that something ended this healing this absence this silence like I said in the beginning, is causing two people to have their own little wake-up calls and their own kind of like, I don't know, aha moments. You're getting it. They're getting it. I do feel like for some of you, there is going to be a reach out, but I feel like this person's going to be very hesitant, but it's almost like I can't help myself because you're the person I want to be with. And you'll be also hesitant to respond. But you will. Why? Because you can't help yourself. They're the person you want to be with. And don't forget, you know, scrub back a little because I was talking also about somebody new showing up who senses that you're not fully ready but they're not going to give up. They're just not going to push you when you connect with this new person. Okay, two of cups. Yeah, see, you're going to make a connection with someone. This is love right here. This soul searching, I think what you're going to find out is you were made for love, Virgo. You were built for that. You were built for commitment. You were built for effort. You are patient. Some of you are walking away from some kind of relationship feeling like you're not worthy of it or that you can never trust again. But this soul searching, this challenge that you put yourself through, this is, you know what this is, Virgo? You've lost your self-esteem. Your self-esteem is shot because of something ending. And that's all that that is. Your heart is fine. It's just your self-esteem. 
So whatever this 30 day thing is, if you haven't even thought of it, I would start thinking about it. Something, 30 days to a healthier self-esteem, 30 days to, I don't know, squat 800 pounds. I don't know. Whatever you're trying to do or whatever you think you can do, do that challenge, whatever it is, because you're going to find out as you go through this process, listen, you are not extra special in this situation. Everyone who goes through a breakup, it feels like a death. It feels like a death. A divorce feels like a death. A loss of someone feels like a death. You will love again. And the love will blossom again. Two of Cups is here. Partnership, unity, happy couple, potential soulmates, harmony, engagement, marriage, rebuilding, repairing, building a committed, successful relationship. This is going to happen, but this here is just this period that you're going through, or you're coming to the end of it at least, where your self-esteem comes back. Maybe somebody was um, gaslighting you or lying to you or put on a, a front, gave you some representative of themselves and the mask has come off. Maybe it was you, Virgo, trying to find your, your true authentic self. Get back to who that is. So what am I saying overall? And I think I kept saying this in the reading before. There was some, in the last few, there's something about the holidays. And I know that you all have, you know, commented and said, well, you know, you've been saying that since September. And listen, I will say this again. One of you, th at least this is going to happen for. I don't know who I'm picking up on. One of you here listening to this reading this is going to happen for okay it's a roulette it's a chance it's not going to happen for every single one of you listening but one of you this will happen for by Christmas almost 98% of you this will happen again in your life And the other 2% of you have just decided. You took your will back and said, you don't ever want this to happen to you again. And I can't help you with that. You have to be open to allowing spirit to bring love back into your life. If you're not open, don't come here blaming me. <laughs> That's on you. You have to get there. That's your journey, not mine. My journey's good. You have to get there. But you will find out that you are made for someone. Absolutely. And if it's this person where you're both healing and coming back around together, then yeah, coming back, reconnecting equally, eye to eye, head to head, heart to heart, facing each other, mirroring one another. Yes, there's going to be conflict. That's a part of life. Somebody said to me over the weekend, love shouldn't be painful. Well, who the fuck said that? Who, who came up with that? <laughs> Is it painful to love your child and watch them fall and get hurt? Yes, that's painful, but you love them. You don't stop loving them because the pain is there. Is it painful when someone close to you loses a job? Do you feel pain, the pain for them? You don't stop loving them. Are people imperfect? Do they make mistakes? Yes. Is someone intentionally hurting you? That's different. 
there's going to be conflict how do you know that you've found yourself in love with someone you know because when it hurts you still love them not because it feels good a glass of champagne feels good after about two or three smoking your weed feels good after a few hits it's when it's hard it's when it's painful it's when it's difficult that you still want to be with them that's how you know you love someone Some of you are like, no, no, no. Well, maybe, maybe. All right, yes. <laughs> a lot of Leo showing up in this reading tonight. A lot. Some of you have been something with a Leo, for sure. The strength to free yourself from conflict and arguments is going to be really important. That's a piece of advice for you through your life. Don't get into arguments with people. Be polite. Let people speak for themselves. Don't fight back with people. When you argue with a fool, you are a fool. Show strength. I don't know what that message has to do with this reading, but I just heard that. When you argue with a fool, you become a fool. They're just saying, show strength. Think on your feet, Virgo. Fast track your hurt and pain. So why do you need to fast track your hurt and your pain? Because some of you are dwelling in it. And some of you want to stay down there. You want to stay in your pain. Why? Because you feel numb. And it makes you at least feel like you can feel something. But you know what? That's not going to serve you in the long run. That's actually going to infect your brain waves and give you depression. If you feel depressed because you've been down too long or because, well, <clears throat> if you feel like you're sinking into depression, get up, go take a walk, <clears throat> brisk, go take a brisk walk. If you can't walk, sit in your chair and shake your booty for 15 minutes or kick your legs or roll your arms for 15 minutes get your heart rate up a little bit that will kick you out of depression that will kick you instantly out of depression you don't need drugs alcohol weed you but you do what you want but that is instant and healthy and there are no long-term side effects that are negative Love yourself, Virgo. Respect yourself, Virgo. That makes you more romantically attractive. Love yourself first right now. Take good care of yourself. Get in there and hug the heck out of yourself, Virgo. Like smooch yourself in the mirror. I don't know what to tell you. Let your friends help you as well. Ask for and accept support from others. You've got people around you that want to help you. They want to just, somebody's trying to cheer you up and you're like, no, no, no. Virgos, I got this. I can do it all myself. I got my books. I got my self-help. I know what I'm supposed to do. Let me get my, my quartz rose and, or my rose quartz and let me get my sage. And, you know, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. What the, hold on. I'm always getting weird messages from people. How, who the heck has my phone number? All right, let me see. Retreat. Retreat with your friends. Disconnect from the world. 
30 days, Virgo. Something about 30 days. Do this 30 day thing. It's your self esteem. This person that you were connecting with, this was your true love. Absolutely. For some of you, finances and career disrupted this relationship, took a toll. The money. Either it was this person, they had no money, they went broke, they didn't have a job, there was arguments, there was fights, there was a lack of attraction because somebody wasn't ambitious. But this was a true love. Is it going to come back around? It looks like you're going to hear from somebody around the holidays, definitely. You may be hesitant to respond or talk to someone, but that's okay. You don't have to. You're not obligated to talk to anyone you don't want to talk to. It's safe for you to love. So, you know, Virgo, it feels like you were in a situation, maybe ship or a relationship where you did not feel safe to love somebody or neither one of you felt safe to open your heart to give and receive. Like I said, there might have been a lot of toxic behaviors. That doesn't mean somebody is a narcissist or a psychopath. Some people just bring over their baggage from other relationships with people they were with and or the heartbreaks or the rejections and you know whenever somebody's angry or pushing back it always comes from a place of hurt even sarcasm and witty banter and razzing somebody always comes from a place of hurt always and fear If that's something that you did or you do, I would stop for a minute and do a little soul searching with that because that's a protective move, um, protest, protective uh, move. Messages of love, there, addiction, again. An addiction is affecting this relationship. But wait, timing is not quite right. Yeah, Virgo, you got a little more work to do. A little extra something. I feel like, again, they keep telling me this 30-day thing. And as soon as that 30 days is up, around December 28th, there's going to be like this. Whoa. Wow. I can do this. I'm fine. It's just your self-esteem, Virgo. It is just your self-esteem and it's affecting your heart and your brain. And your self-esteem comes from you got knocked down, dragged out. You don't feel worthy. And now you got to do something to challenge yourself, to prove to yourself that you are a winner and that you are worthy. And that's all this is. That's why people, that's why guys go to the gym and girls go get their nails done and they get their hair done and all change their haircut. It's a self-esteem thing. Your heart is fine. You're sad. I know your emotions. I get it. I get it. Sit with them. Feel your feelings. This other person is going through the same thing, except this other person is not going to the gym. <laughs> or getting their nails done. You're coming out of this. They might have done all that right in the beginning. If this was a past person, they did all that right in the beginning. They had a sense of relief. This other person was going out on painting the town and doing whatever, and you were like sobbing in your pillow sheets. Now you're coming out of it and getting up again, stronger better, harder, faster. And this person's now starting to sink. And so you're both in the same position. You're just in the opposite ends now. 
this is what's going on. And why are they going to be reaching out to you? Because now they're sad. Now they are feeling it heavy. And you're not. You're coming out. You're walking out of the building, out into the bright sunshine. They've already been out there. Now they're coming into the dark house for their soul searching. This relationship deserves a second chance. Okay. So this feels very twinny flamey. It feels very twinny flamey. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. Yeah, 100%. You got to just keep doing what you're doing because when you pull away, well, not pull away, but when you just redirect, and stop focusing on the breakup, but focusing on... I don't want to say the makeup, <laughs> but remaking it up to yourself. Suddenly, things start making sense because after a break, there's always this period of cloudiness and darkness. There's always this, what the heck was that? What was I in? I'm you're you're trapped you're stuck but when the when the fog begins to lift everything starts to get clear and you begin to see things for how they truly are and then you begin to understand how you really feel you could have been very attached to someone based on anxiety attachment not necessarily uh, love but you might might have been in love. I, I just feel like you've got to find that out. Yeah. And you ha definitely, I see you here doing some kind of thing to get that self-esteem up. Going hard. Going hard. And I know it's the holidays. I mean, this is like life or death right here because I don't know who is doing some kind of 30-day challenge i don't know maybe you guys eat too much at thanksgiving and you're like oh you gotta drop a little like you're feeling <laughs> again broke broke busted and disgusted and you want to get yourself before the new year don't get into like um comfort food eating if you're going through some kind of breakup because i'm gonna tell you you're gonna wind up feeling so shitty right? If you want to have like one full day a week of just complete comfort food, carb gor gorging, whatever, fine, do it. But then the other days of the week, get your ass in gear and start working on yourself and your self-esteem. You have to. You're going to show up this new year you're going to show up. You're going to be very surprised at yourself when what you put yourself committed to for that 30 days. It only takes, there's an old saying, it says it only takes 21 days to break a habit. If you can do it for 21 days, you've broken the habit. You're out of it. If you can carry a baby for nine months and then give birth, but you can't do a 30-day challenge? Yes, you can. And if you guys don't, you just stop being lazy. Get your ass in gear. What are you doing? Get up. Get moving. Get off that couch. Stop gaming for a little bit. Challenge yourself. Some of you need to challenge yourselves to remove something from your life not add something to it. Some of you need to remove something that's got you in a funk, that's got you stuck. Joseph. <laughs> I'm talking to Joseph. I am right now, Joe, Joe, Joe S. Who's Joe S? Joe S, if it's not Joseph. Is 
Somebody's also um, speak Spanish. Josue, they just said, Josue, J-O-S-U-E, Josue. Was this a message just for Joseph? Okay. Now I'm hearing the word Krug, K-R-U-G, or Kruger, Krug. Commit the crime, get it do the time. Hmm. Somebody's a real pimp. Somebody is a real pimp. They just said, tell, tell that person they're like acting like a pimp. Stop acting like a pimp. You're not a pimp. You're not a pimp. Mimi, pee me. I just heard Mimi, pee me. All right, listen to me, you guys. Oh my God. You. And me and baby makes three. Okay. All right, they're telling me somebody just is getting a puppy or a pup. And also, I'm hearing the words pip. Maybe that was pimp. Pimp or pip. I don't like it when they play those little games. Okay, Jason Mraz, M-R-A-Z, Mraz, Jason Mraz. And Razzle, Razzle Dazzle? What the heck? I've got some poets. So there's a, I have a, do you guys, there's a poet, uh, spirit with me is, is they're rhyming. It's a, there's maybe they're, oh, okay. So they're saying rapper, a rapper, somebody's a rapper. Yes. Okay. Tell them money for good tunes. An exciting career opportunity in music. Okay. All right. Now they're giving me a navy, a naval ship. I don't know if this is a ship. Is this a ship? U.S. Arizona. Is there a U.S. Arizona? Is that a ship? Oh, um, I don't, you know what? This is killing me. They keep giving me the same exact words. I keep getting an M, M and an I. Um, okay, guar, I don't know if it's guar, Guar gum or Guam. I am going to, you know what I'm going to do? All right. I'm going to do a surprise for you guys. I'm not going to do it tonight. And I'm not going to tell you about it. I'm going to see if I can get it to you this week for names. Cause I need the things that are coming through. I feel like, I don't know if I need to add a Ouija board to get some stronger names messages for you guys or what I'm gonna talk to my guides to try to figure out what because they're trying to get names to cross but now there's a lot showing up here a lot 
Let me get a charm. What is the magic charm for you, Virgo? Oh, yeah, you got that black cloud, Virgo. You got that black cloud, but listen, black clouds are temporary. Doesn't rain all the can't rain all the time, Virgo. We talked about that, that black cloud. Oh, and there's a paw print as well. Okay, they just also showed me a cow on a farm. But there's also a, par a paw print here. Um, a black ink paw print. And also, oh, they're saying black ink, ink blot. Maybe somebody's going to see a psychiatrist or something to get a little extra help, help, help or oomph of some sort for something that they're going through. I think that's great. Any and all means necessary. Scorpio, Taurus, double Scorpio, um, Libra. September 22nd, August 25th, September 10th, September 14th, um, September 20th. September 13th, triple, no, I'm sorry, double Gemini, Pisces, Taurus again, okay, um, somebody's 35, somebody's 27, 310, someone's born in 72, um, One more. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, hold on, you guys. So there's Virgo, Scorpio, Leo, again, and Aquarius. June 20th. April 3rd, November 4th. August 5th. Okay. I'm going to leave those there because I feel like, oh, and now they're just giving me cancer twice. Double cancer out of nowhere just showed up. Somebody's connecting with a cancer. Okay, I'm not getting anything else. So I think that that's going to be it. I think that's going to be a reading that was very, I don't know who this message was for. I hope that it helped you. I don't know who it was for. But I feel the need to tell you, Virgo, before I close it out 100%, you're okay. You're, you're going to be all right. If you don't feel like you are right now, listen, it's not even about that you're going to be you already are. You can tell yourself that. Fake it till you fake it till you make it, is what my poet guide just said. Who the heck is this poet guide? A spiritual a gangster rapper or something showing up in my surroundings here. Okay, I'm gonna leave that there for you guys. I hope you enjoy that. You know, I'll be back tomorrow. Do click subscribe if you enjoy these videos, um, and put a like on the like. But hit the like button if you like them as well and I will see you guys over at the group me chat if you are already in there um, I'll pop in to say hi of course one day this week and then again don't forget if you want to get a personal reading you guys link is in the description box below this video moonpietarot.com just click on it and that'll take you right to my booking site all right you guys see you later bye